In our last session, we walked through creating a virtual meeting room for your course. In this video, we'll introduce you to the Adobe Connect user interface. Log in and find the appropriate virtual meeting room. I'll use the one we created in the last session. It's best to use either Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox as your browser. I've had a couple problems with Chrome getting the Flash plugin to work properly. For your very first class session, you'll need to update the plugin so that Flash works consistently on your computer. Follow the quick setup tips. This big gray block in the center is called the share pod. Actually, all of these blocks are called pods. In the share pod, you can share presentations, multimedia, video, documents, or your whiteboard with your class participants. Now we're ready to share a document. So. Click on Share Document, and this will navigate you to a browser, and you can locate the document on your computer. Now my document's visible. I can go in and use these tools to add text or shapes on top of my document, like this. In the upper right is the video pod. If you're so inclined, you can share your webcam with students here and show either live video or a still photo. Below this is the participants pod. Here you'll see everyone who has entered this virtual meeting room. At the bottom is the chat pod. You can text chat with individuals or the entire class from this block. And this is where text comments or questions will appear as your students type. You can change the layout of this meeting room by choosing one of the templates in this column. The current layout is sharing. You also have a discussion layout, which would make the webcam video chat the most prominent feature of the page. And then you have the collaboration layout, which features your main document, additional files, chat, a note-taking pod, and your list of attendees along with your video. For now, let's stick with the sharing layout. At the top of the screen, you have several controls to help you host a virtual class session. Let's take a look. Under the Meeting tab, you have a lot of tools to help you manage your meeting. Manage meeting information, you can manage access and entry. You can also change your role here if you're co-presenting with another, with another host. And this is where you'd record your meeting. If you're doing several class sessions that you want your students to use and refer to as notes, then you want to record every session. So let's record this one. This is my intro graphic design course. I'm putting in a unique title and also a short summary of this class. The Layouts tab shows you the different layouts that you can use. You can also change layouts or make custom layouts. And to make new layouts, go to the pods block, go, go to the pods dropdown, and you can pick different pods that you want to add to your course layout. And now in the audio tab, change audio rights for your students. If you want everyone to be able to speak at once, make sure that this is checked. Just know that the more students talking, sharing audio, and sharing video during your class, that may slow down the performance of your video, depending on the slowest internet connection and computer of the participants in your class. Yeah, so turn that off. We'll begin by turning everything on. First, your microphone. To turn on your microphone, click here. Connect my audio. Next, let's turn on your webcam. If you see your image, you know that it's working properly. If you don't, try reconnecting the webcam and start again. Your image is not live to others in the room until you click on Start Sharing. We won't start sharing until we check on some other settings. In the left corner, click on Meeting and select Preferences. For audio, make sure you've selected Use Enhanced Audio. Acoustic Echo Cancellation Mode is set to Full Duplex, and Audio Quality is set to Best. On the Video tab, you shouldn't have to change anything. Leave the Video Settings options both unchecked and click Done. 
Go back to meeting and choose Audio Setup Wizard. These are basic steps you can go through to test your microphone and make sure your audio is set up properly. We strongly suggest that you perform this test. When you're done, hit Finish. You can test the audio to be sure levels are set to the proper volume. On this little speaker icon, the drop-down gives you the option to adjust your speaker volume. When you find the appropriate volume level, click OK. You can do the same with your microphone setting. When done, click OK. Once your audio is set up, hit Start Sharing. Now your image and audio is available to everyone in the room, and you're ready to participate in this online class session. If you have more questions about using Adobe Connect, contact the Help Desk at extension 5555. Thanks a lot.